Hey everybody, uh, welcome to our new series called Pictures, of course we're on part one. Uh, really excited to, to do this series. L let me explain kind of up front what the purpose of this series is uh, and what I'll be doing. So, so here's what I'll be doing. Um, each part of the series, I'm essentially going to be closing my eyes, praying, saying, Holy Spirit, give me a picture that, that might encourage or a word uh, or a combination that might encourage uh, you know, me or somebody who's listening or the corporate body or, you know, whatever he wants to say to whoever's out there. Um, and here's the purpose. The purpose is certainly not to say, hey, you know, look, you know, here's a here's what I claim to be a picture from God. Ooh. Uh, the other purpose is is not to say if you don't see pictures from God uh, or or get words from God, then, you know, you must be missing out on something. Um, none of that. It's it's purely to say w what we were saying in our series Encounters with God, uh, which on if you're watching from the website is uh, the series right before this one. We're essentially saying God is a um, is a relational being. He wants to have a relationship with us. He created us for relationship. I mean, I think if you could boil it down to one thing, He created us for His glory, but in relationship. I mean, it wasn't just for his glory to mindlessly, without feeling, without choice, uh, with, without individuality or, or, or uniqueness to our person. It wasn't to be a robot and worship him. It was to be in relationship with him and worship him. And if he's a relational being and he created relationships and he created us, then he is you know, more capable of connecting with us and relating to us than anyone. I mean, that just to me, that just makes sense. Now, some people, you know, might not agree that he does that today, right? Some people might say, oh, I want to be really careful about saying I heard something from the Holy Spirit. And you do want to be careful about that, but you don't want to be so careful that we avoid talking to God and listening. I think something that I did for much of my Christian life was a lot of praying to God, but not listening in prayer. You know, and I, I believe that he has much more important things to say to me than I have to say to him. Now, he wants to hear from me. I'm not saying that. He wants to hear from me, but I think he also wants to speak. So uh, what I'm doing this for this purpose so that I'm not just saying that to you, but that I'm showing that to you. So I'm not just um, teaching it, but I'm living it. And just to encourage you, and maybe even the picture will encourage you. I mean, certainly any picture God gives, any word he gives should fall in line um, with with his word. And this is not super Pentecostal Holy Spirit, nothing wrong with that, but it's, to me it's not. Uh, there's so many people I know who are just um, really solid Bible-believing Christians, and Pentecostals are too, by the way, but super solid um, Bible-believing Christians who have found it very powerful, whether they're counseling somebody else or they're they're in prayer themselves, to say, hey, would you just listen for a second and see what God might say to you? Would you just listen for a second and see if God might give you a picture just to reveal in a more powerful way than, than any human can uh, his truth for your life? So that's what we're going to do, and I'm just going to kind of be an example of that uh, during this series. So uh, none of this is prepared, uh, so it's, it's a little you know, uh, risky for me and scary for me because I've got to close my eyes and believe he's going to give me a picture or a word. Uh, but that's what I'm going to do uh, right now. So Father God, thank you for sending your son Jesus uh, because of his perfect life and his death on the cross. Uh, he tore the veil so that we can come into full relationship with you. And because he sent uh, the Holy Spirit, you sent the Holy Spirit, it's no longer um, Christ with us. It's Christ in us you know, the hope of glory. And so, Holy Spirit, I thank you that, that Jesus said we do even greater things because he, was, he sent you. And uh, Holy Spirit, I pray that you just speak to us now and give us a word or a picture or something that encourages us or guides us uh, in some way to greater truth. So I see a, a finger kind of, uh, you know, kind of looping around in the air and it's in the clouds and the finger is stirring up the clouds and the clouds are being stirred up almost like, and it's stirring it this way, not this way. It's stirring it this way, but it is almost like if you had a mixer and you were making like a cake batter or a cookie batter or whatever you might make in a mixer, those clouds are being stirred together and like, like um, you know, a lot of elements are coming together. And 
I see that it kind of comes together like in that, a ball. Like if you would make the cookie batter and then you would put it into a ball and you'd cook it, right? So it's coming into this ball. All the elements have come together and it comes into a ball and it's like he he tosses it or throws it with, with a lot of might and force, uh, but good force, you know, uh, a positive way to the earth. And, it, and, it, and it's like it crashes into your heart and it fills you um, in, in a really good way, but a shocking way. And I'm going to stop there. I mean, I could keep just listening and watching, and I, I believe he'd keep giving picture, but I believe that's a, a, a good moment, uh, picture for us, a glimpse for right now. And I, I believe that God is saying, you know, there's so many elements in our lives that we don't know about. You know, they're, they're up. It, it, the, the analogy or metaphor, or whatever the word is, is like it's in the sky. And we, you know, we can't see everything that's out there. In fact, I've got a window right out there and I can see clouds, but I can just see, you know, um, I can only see, I can't see the details, right? I'm not that far up. So there's elements in our life that we don't know about or, or that we don't realize are being mixed all together. But he's, he's mixing all these elements, these things that we don't know about that we're not aware of. He's mixing them up and he's putting them into something that's really good and really healthy. In it, and it's almost like a seed that's going to be birthed in our hearts and our lives and grow up in a powerful and a good way. And he's throwing it with might and force, but not in a scary or bad way, not like an attack, but almost like with surety and confidence into our hearts, into our spirits, into our lives. And all those elements that have been put together into that one seed, uh, into that good thing, are going to grow up. Uh, in our spirit, in our life, you know, assuming that we'll receive that and um, um, connect with that when he does it, recognize it as he does that. And he's going to use all those elements in our lives that we're not fully aware of. We can see kind of glimpses of, we don't know how they all mix together and, and do fantastic and wonderful things. And of course we know that, you know, that's a biblical thing. That's, you know, God works all things together for good for those who know him and love him and called according to his purpose. It's a very biblical thing, but that's just a picture of it. And that's just an encouragement. And that's what he's given me today. So whoever's watching this, I hope that maybe that was something that you needed to hear when you're watching this to bless you. And I hope also that that will encourage you just to say, God, would you just speak to me? Would you just give me a picture, you know, and then tell me what it means. Would you just give me a word, encourage me today? Because it's not just that he wants us to speak to him, but he wants to speak to us. All right. Thank you guys. And, and I'll talk to you again on part two.